so just the first question could you explain a little bit about your educational background please right um i'm 39 so my gcses were very basic i didn't really do well um then after that i attended short courses at northern college as a mature student fell in love with the learning again and being back in classroom ended up uh, taking a diploma uh, passing that, which I really enjoyed and thought I'd continue it on to university. Yeah. So did did you come to criminal justice first or did you go to did you go somewhere else first? I went to Huddersfield University uh, in oh. September 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, I did come to Doncaster University um, on an open day. It were really good, really informative, but I'd already accepted my place, so I thought, right, I'll stick with this. <laughs> so what, what changed your mind? What attracted you to come to the criminal justice programme at the University Centre Doncaster? Right, well, it, it weren't just the course. Uh, it were like the experience, the excitement in some of the tutors that we come across, um, how passionate they were about the subject that they were teaching. And that really um, like excited me. I were excited because they were excited talking about it. Um, the friends that have already gone uh, onto Doncaster, they rave about it. It's it's a fantastic course. There's um, an opportunity for placement in year two, which at the university I'm at, there was no option for placement. Um, that along then will give me experience um, as well as textbook. And I find that very important. And it, it were a, a big thing for me that as well. And the support that they said that they would offer. Uh, I found that I hadn't received re support at my university. Um, and it, it, it ranged from everything, your well-being, academic support, everything. And it, it were all laid out in front of you. It, it were amazing to me. <laughs> Yeah, so is is one to one important to you then, and that level of support is that an it, important factor when you've made your decision? It is to me, yeah. Um, going from one university and then going to another, one is really big, and the cohort is in its hundreds, and this one's um, not as many. So you get that interaction with tutors. You're not fighting for. Um, attention from a tutor if you're sending correspondence to somebody you, you get something back that's a big thing and being able to sit with a tutor and, and just have that interaction be it uh, on a one-to-one -one internet or face-to-face -face, the academic support for me because I'm a mature student and things aren't always sinking straight away so to have that support and know that I can go to somebody and say look right I, I don't feel daft talking to you can you just like clarify this for me or said this in a different way that it might sink in and help me whereas I hadn't had that opportunity. Yeah. Thank you, <clears throat> sorry. Um, did you feel supported through the application process? Yes, um, there was, go on, is it academic support? Yeah. There was, um, no financial support, sorry. Yeah. I was speaking to somebody and I were a bit panicky of a um, finding course codes and student finance and they supported me through that which were brilliant yeah that's really good so how does your experience with us compare to the experience you had at the other university thus far just the interaction um when you apply on UCAS you get um a confirmation saying pick this you've picked it um and with that, with my other university, contact stopped from that point till I started. And with COVID, obviously, you can't go in and have a look round. I did have an open day there and it were, well, my personal takeaway from it were quite bland. Um, so it's, yeah, what were that again? I'm going off on a random <laughs> tangent. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> Just how does your experience compare to the experience that you had at other universities? you know, this far? This far, just the, the support, um, the constant contact. So you're not just forgotten about until September. 
you get an odd email like checking in um acceptance email because they can appreciate your cast as busy so you're not worrying about that i can't wait to get started in september <laughs> sorry great stuff um what are the most important what are the key provisions that you were looking for when you were looking for a university well see hindsight's a beautiful thing um when i was first looking i was looking at um because i attended northern college i did my diploma there everybody were talking about Uddersfield, and i thought well i live not too far away it's a train ride that's that's fine I can get that's going to be more accessible so I tend to like add tunnel vision about it yeah. and then there were friends that were applying to Doncaster and that's why I went to the um open day that you had and were pleasantly surprised how different my open day was to their open day um so the provisions that that now looking at it what's made me want to come to Doncaster is just the sheer passion of the, of the tutors that's on the course, the the excitement that, the, you know, they want you to do well, they want you to learn what they know and to use that. And I won't get in that. The fact that there's a placement so you can get experience as, as long, alongside learning, all of these are little factors and it, it doesn't even come into my head that you're in Doncaster, that it's a car ride away. So... <laughs> You know, it's it's yeah. as broad as it is long, either way. Uh, and finally, are you excited about coming to us in September? I ain't give that away yet. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I'm counting. I'm wishing my life away till September because I just <laughs> want to get back into the swing of it. And I can't. I, well, yeah, <laughs> stress some tutors out because I don't show up. <laughs> right. Thank you very much for that, Tony. <laughs>